Hi, I'm Alex, and this is Pucks and Paperbacks. And this is everything I hope to read in February. Yes, February is the shortest month of the year, and every year I overestimate how much I can read in a month by giving myself a long TBR. <laughs> These are my February hopefuls. If you're new to my TBR videos, I started calling them hopefuls, I believe, in November because I don't like committing to a TBR. So these are my February hopefuls. I have another reading experiment I'm doing that includes an extensive list of books. So that is going to be my my main priority in February, but I do have a list of books that I want to get to for book clubs and things like that, so let's get started. Some of the books I mentioned in this video are HarperCollins titles. I'll have a link down below to how you can support the union at this time. They are currently at the table, and I am hoping that we get a fair bargain soon because I cannot wait to share with you all of the great HarperCollins titles that I've read and want to read, so the link will be down below for you to follow the union and support them at this time, but I just wanted to let you know because a couple of the titles in this video are published by HarperCollins. In the U.S. this month is Black History Month, so I am planning to read The Black Kids by Christina Hammond Reed, which works for the Pop Sugar Challenge to read a book set in the decade you were born. I'm a 90s kid, and this is set in the 90s. This is set in 1992 Los Angeles. I was born in 1995. I was literally born in 1994. I have no idea why I said that and I'm so excited to get around to this. Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute by Talia Hibbert. It's her YA novel that just released in January, and I've heard nothing but great things about it, so I really want to pick this up. It's also the Heartbound Book Club pick for February. This is a book club run by my friend Alex Ang and her partner Brandon, and I participated in December reading Kiss Her Once for Me, and so I want to continue picking up some of the books that they are reading. I'm super excited to read this one, so it's definitely on my radar. And Leo's coming to join, I think. Another book I'd like to prioritize is Punching the Air by Abe Zaboy and Yusuf Salam. This is about the Exonerated Five, and I've actually had it on my shelves for quite a while, so I really want to prioritize it this month. I know I shouldn't be using all the big books for the shortest month of the year, but We'll see what happens. That's why these are my hopefuls. They're not my TBR. It's just some of the books that I want to get to, but it's not me committing to an actual pile of books. This is a look into my brain because on the one hand, I want to have a plan of all the books I want to read, but then I think I'm secretly a mood reader. I want to have a plan and it's just a disaster. <laughs> you're coming over. You want to come over here? No, you're not going to my bookshelf. No. No, this is a new shirt. Oh, yes, okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Another book is The Field Guide to the North American Teenager by Ben Felipe. I believe this has some hockey in it and it's just a YA. And last is Happily Ever Afters by Elise Bryant. I've had this since it came out and I have yet to read it. So definitely want to get around to it this month. This month's word for Buzzwordathon is verb, so I'm planning to read A Show for Two by Tashi Buyan. I actually started this last year. I read about 50 pages of it and then just other things happened and I didn't get around to it, so hoping to get around to it this month. I know I'm being ambitious because this is the shortest month of the year, but this is just who I am. This talks about mental health. I believe specifically it's anxiety, and this is a celebrity romance about a girl who meets a celebrity who goes to her school, and the author wrote this inspired by Tom Holland attending her high school, and I cannot wait to read more of this because I really enjoyed what I read of it. February is the month for book releases, and if you want to know all of the books I'm anticipating, my video will be linked down below for you. I have a few arcs that I need to get to before the release date, including Always the Almost by Edward Underhill, which is a trans rom-com. A big thank you to Wednesday Books for sending me an e-galley. This one's for you by Katie Sweeney, releases on February 7th. Thanks to Penguin Teen for an e-galley. This is a queer road trip book. It is blurbed as a gorgeous contemporary romance about two ex-friends, Cass and Sid, on a life-altering road trip following the reunion tour of the Darlas, the band Cass's mom was in. Perfect for fans of Mary H.K. Choi, Dandy Nelson, and Nina LaCour. I love road trip books and I have not read one in a few years, so I am super stoked for this one. 
Bang Bang Crash a Memoir by Nick Brown is out on February 21st. Thank you to Counterpoint Press for sending me a copy. I don't know who Nick Brown is, but I love memoirs about music, so I'm super excited to read this. It looks pretty short, so I'm definitely going to spend a weekend reading this one. Those are some of the books I hope to read in February. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to reading in February or if you don't make TBRs or hopefuls, let me know what you're currently reading. It really helps out the channel if you like and comment, so thanks if you do. And to hear all of my thoughts on queer and trans books, hit subscribe. According to my analytics, 40% of viewers do not subscribe, so if that's you, hit subscribe so you don't miss a video. Thanks so much for watching and if you want to support my channel further, I do have a Patreon. The link is always down below and on my end card at the end of this video. If you pledge a dollar or more, you will have access to my private Discord and my bi-monthly queer book club that I host. And if you want a personalized book recommendation, I also have a tier for that. I will see you in my next video very soon. Bye.